Coming on September 12th, 4 p.m. PDT, God of Weapons. Hello gamers, we're pleased to announce that the 1.0 version of God of Weapons is going to come out on the 12th. A lot more characters with three subclass variants, is variants and unique starting items. Meta progression, I'm torn on that. I like it and I don't. Many more mob monsters, a mini boss, and the true final boss, Zor. A lot more weapons with unique mechanics, a lot more weapons to craft and unlock. Five levels of difficulties for you to challenge. Very cool stuff. I debated waiting until the 12th to play this again versus playing it right now, and then we'll play it again once the 1.0 version comes out. So I think. That's what I'm going with, obviously, since I am playing right now. We'll do a little bit of both. Hit start. There are so many more characters. This isn't even 1.0 yet. What is this? Okay, so the Raven. The Raven is good. The Rogue. We can choose our starting weapon. What are these? Throwing daggers. So this one, starting with it, is kind of cool. I need to try. This one's really good. Okay. For starting weapons, we definitely want to try this one. What is this? Bandolier. Adjacent weapons game the sharp tag. I don't know what that is. Sounds cool. I can't start with these question mark ones. We could start with nothing. Difficulty. The other ones are locked. Very cool. I'm happy with this. Change character. Can't do it yet. Reach 60 armor. It does tell us the unlock condition. The sad thing is, I want to play a bunch of this right now. 70% life leech. I don't even want to wait for the 1.0 update. There's so much stuff I haven't explored. Unlock condition. Win a run with zero or less armor. You can have negative armor? Holy crap, this sounds amazing. For each two recovery, you get 25% recovery, but it gives way more power. Okay, I don't know. There's all kinds of items. They've added so much to this game. Let's just go play. I think I could be playing this with a controller. I don't need to target. Yeah, let's go over to a controller. And I can dash. Let's go. Okay, I shouldn't have taken damage. That's a free level up. Okay, good start. If we could get three level ups right now, we did. Really good start. So my backpack is gonna be massive. Throwing dagger. Bounces one plus 10% attack speed for each adjacent dagger. Swift and throwing. Very interesting. What are you? A fist plus 20% da critical damage for each adjacent fist. What are you? A whetstone. These use melee damage. A whetstone is amazing. Minus one projectile power. Okay, good stuff. Everything is amazing. We have all of the spaces. So I want that, that. This is a dagger though. I have to think for a second. How much gold do I have? I have 12 more gold. So this should up the damage on these. It does. Their base damage is 12. I'm doing 17. My DPS is 26. Good stuff. Very good stuff. So this one could go at some point. Cool. Next floor. Downwards. Onwards. Floor two. Maybe that's upwards. God, the attack range on this is amazing. It's so good. 
especially considering it scales off of melee damage, I'm pretty sure. Pretty positive. 80% of my melee damage. Dude, this just feels broken. Don't need that. Attack speed for minus armor. I already have minus 10 armor. Why do I have minus 10 armor? This one gives good stuff. Okay. We have four spaces. Um, yeah. Take that. It's kind of expensive just to get more enemies. Who knows? 29 gold. Not worth re-rolling. What is this one? Vitality and recovery. Recovery is pretty nice. Um, just looking over at my stats, I currently have zero recovery. Vitality is also good. Minus three luck. We'll take it. Next floor. Oh wow, the volume's a little bit loud. Maybe I should try turning that down. Okay. Settings. Just a little bit. We want music to be there. That looks reasonable. This will go to here. I don't know. I kind of just pick things. Okay, the weapon sounds are still pretty loud. Settings. You. 70%. Back. Sound is weird. Okay, I didn't really need that heal yet. Because, like, small changes... Like, it'll be no change, no change, no change, silent. Kind of. What are you? A new thing. A hand glass. Um, lifesteal would be kind of nice. Throwing axe. Sounds kind of cool. These are throwing weapons. Crimson rapier. Life stealing. Life steal 10%. I see it. Daggers, kind of good. Hmm. Okay, get my spaces. Then, life steal. I would like some life steal. I would. Okay. I have 64 gold. What are you? Claw, fist, agile, plus 1% attack speed for every 50 kills with this weapon. Oh yeah, have they changed this? Huh. Because this felt weird before. Plus 2 melee power. Minus dodge chance. I would like that. Does this need to be touching things? Adjacent weapons, yes. Ideally, it would touch all three of these. Could I do that? Yes. No, I could not. Nope. Okay. Good stuff. So now, 18 damage. Wonder if I should have considered a throwing axe. I don't think so. I do like the idea of this one. Crazy attack speed sounds kind of fun. Crazy attack speed. Huh. Tempted to get rid of this. Let's get more attack speed. Next floor. I did have space, but it's hard to use it efficiently. Which really means I should do a better job with my backpack. I like these little blobs. They create so many small enemies. I guess it depends on my build for how much I like them. I also like the bombs. Everything is blowing up. Two level ups? What is this? Armor of eight. Huh, that's a good amount of armor. Dual sword, blade, sharp. That's an 
interesting shape to it. Plus 45% attack speed when not moving. Adjacent weapons benefit from the same bonus attack speed. I could stand still and let this affect my daggers. I'm not going to do that. Halberd. Bonus 9 damage base while standing still. Okay, so these both want to stand still. And this would fit in the middle of this. Adjacent armor items give plus 2 armor. Additional plus 1 armor when standing still. So this would be a big... Or not that. This. Huh. Interesting. Tier 2. Tier 2. More attack speed. All right. Oh, I wanted spaces up here. Oh, well. Like a space right here would have been nice. 181 gold. What are you? Crit chance, move speed, minus armor. My armor's already negative. Increase damage taken by 13%. Just don't get hit. Negative armor build. 15% more damage. But my attack speed is 34. Crit chance. Move speed. Next floor. This one just attacks super fast. Projectile aims at target's feet. Explode on impact. Ooh, that sounds kind of cool. And it bounces. Next floor. What are these enemies? It's going to take some restraint not to play a bunch of this game in the next three days before the update comes out. Especially because I might have class on the day of the update. I have to look. We'll just play it after. What is this thing? I want it. I'm golden. Hmm. Don't know. Throwing daggers. I do want these. I only get two spaces, so I'm going to have to sell something. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. It's not ideal. Just trying to figure out what I'm selling. What are you? More barrels per, per floor. I like barrels a lot. I think I'm willing to sell for that. Adjacent blessed weapons. Gain bonus plus 1% damage for each 6 recovery. There are definitely recovery builds. Huh. You. Plus 10 range for each adjacent weapon. Okay, the main thing is the throwing daggers. I could just get rid of this dagger. That kind of makes sense to me. The crit chance is only for this weapon, not my total crit chance. It did up my total crit chance by 2%. More barrels. I do want this. I really want that. So to get this, I just need one space. Attack speed, crit chance. This only takes one space. This takes two space. I do like the attack speed. Do I need lifesteal? No. Totally don't need lifesteal. Now I get more crit chance. Cool. Crit chance, 8%. Onwards. What does sharp do? Wait, wait, wait. Gain the sharp tag. Sharp. Plus 2% crit chance. So I have two sharp items. Three throwing, three swift. It's kind of cool. More barrels. Let's go. I feel super slow. Why do I feel so slow? Don't know. Z 
zoom around, get the kills. Blow up the barrels. I don't have lifesteal or recovery now, so my health just stays low. Ooh, is that a level up under that food? No. It was just food. But look for another barrel. No more barrels. Have at least 10 titanate. Titanate. Eliminate 500 enemies. Okay, four spaces. Smoke pellets, dodge chance. Magic power plus two. Don't care. Throwing hammer. This looks consumable. It's not. Okay. Rearrange. Is there a way for me to get this to hit more? Probably. Who knows? Plus recovery. Plus recovery would be nice. Huh. No. Next floor. Just because I don't have a way to heal right now. We will heal from barrels. Floor 7. I think floor 10 will be the first, like, difficulty jump. The game sounds still look loud. Okay, settings. We want... 60? Go back. Resume. Looking over... Game sounds still look loud, but not as bad. It's just that we're constantly firing. Ooh, that's a level up. Let's go. Level ups are the best. That's the main reason that I want more barrels. What are you? Resource gain. This thing looks mean. The shields don't seem good so far, but block four damage. Huh. Maybe they improved it, actually. No decision time. I do like having more of these. Plus four armor. I like that this doesn't require space. Use it. At, or at floor 10, I think better items unlock, so it is worth saving up some of my gold. Warhammer. Attacks strike the ground, causing area of effect damage. Ooh, I would like that. Not for this run, but eventually. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I think it's worth giving this up to get another set of throwing daggers. Okay. I could be looking for higher tier throwing daggers, but I'm already killing like everything. I think saving the gold till floor 10 might make sense. Ah, but if I could get the items that give more barrels, I would do that. I would spend gold to get more of those. Just hoping to get extra bonus level ups. I still don't know what this is. Can't tell. Is it in vulnerability like this? Maybe it is. Why would they have two items that do the same thing? Maybe it lasted longer. Hit the barrel. Oh, yes! Three level ups. Let's read this. Adjacent melee weapons gain bonus plus 1% damage for each four magic power. No. Hmm, no. Could take this. It only costs 28.
What is the belt? Vitality armor. I might be selling that back. Probably. What are you? Projectile power. Hmm. Seven forty one. Ooh. This one I want. When consumed, permanently increase one random stat among damage, attack speed, move speed by five. Elite enemy appear next floor. Put outside. Go buy this. Use it. Let's go. Experience gain. I do like experience gain. That gets me more slots. Sell this. Buy it. Okay, one more roll. Cross wand. Enchanted. 50% projectile resource gain. Life steal. Life steal. Would be nice. Nah. Next floor. These things bouncing feels way too strong. Okay, there's the elite. That thing hits hard, too. It did, no, it did not die. Okay, now it died. We got an achievement. I didn't see what it was. Good stuff. Okay, go get the barrel. Two more, three more barrels. No, one of the barrels got blocked, I think. There we go. Level up. Give me one more level up barrel. That would be amazing. Nope. What is this? Plus seven luck, 1% crit chance. 2% crit chance, three luck. This takes two spaces. Huh, tier two, we have to get that. Okay, four spaces. I do want this. Would I give up something? Luck becomes better, I think, the further on I am. Let's think for a second. Attack speed 47. Move speed is nice, too. Sell, sell. Move this over here. DPS of 76. DPS of 51. Crit chance. And move speed. Sell it. I want the luck. Okay, floor nine, 707 gold. What is this thing? Top right. I can't point my mouse at it. Underneath the gold, I have one currency of some kind, probably from killing an elite. There's another elite. Let's see if this gives me more of that currency. Also, why is my HP low? That's a problem. I got hit by something. Barrels? Hey, there's barrels. Double immunity. Food. Food is good. More barrels. Please. And no, I did not get more of that rare currency. Get the barrel. Good stuff. Two level ups. 
Block 12 damage. Huh. I just want more luck, I think. Luck plus crit. Now I can reroll. Bracer plus two armor. Life steal. What is my vitality? Max health is pretty low. Getting less vitality is a little bit scary. What is my armor? My armor's not very good. Listen, I'm going to take this. Reroll. And then I'm going to sell it, probably. Plus 9% damage. I just passed on a plus 5% one size. 8% damage. Reroll. Abacus. Ooh. I like my luck. This one. This one is important to me. Life steal. Huh, huh, huh. I don't know if resource gain is super important. I just bought that. Cool. What are you? Hunter's hat. Melee power and armor. Move speed and another dash. I still have a thousand money. I'm looking for consumables, really. Dusk spinner, move speed and luck. Life steal. So I want this for sure. Okay, cancel, put outside, move this over, move this over, put this back, sell this, buy this. Oh, okay, so this blocks 12 damage every 12 seconds, I think. Purple. Meh. Fire Wand. Deal 6, 50% of magic, burning damage over 3 seconds. Hourglass. Minus 5% move speed plus 1% dodge chance for each 1% move speed. I have 5. And it would go to 0. Plus 1 luck for each 1% move speed. That's an interesting item. What are you? Mystical Finger plus 18% attack speed plus 3 melee pot. Yes. So, minus resource gain kind of sucks. It does. What are you? Projectile power for luck. Okay, you're going to go away. More luck. You go away. That one's insane. It is a tier three. Reroll. What are you? Upgrade one weapon to the next tier. Yes. It's a consumable. What are you? Lots of resource gain. Yes. <laughs> Just trying to think what I get rid of. I could get rid of a luck die. Could get rid of this one. Get rid of that. I want more luck dies. Upgrade other item. What? We've done it. Okay. DPS 102, 83, 20, er, 63. Good stuff. Next floor. I feel good.
I'm assuming this game still goes to floor 20, at least for now. Who knows after the big update. Every time I come back to this game, I'm just reminded how good it is. Yes! Level up. Okay, and vulnerability is wearing off. Get the barrel. And vulnerability is good. We have five seconds. Run into the crowd. I think I just got another level up right at the end. What is this? Crown of Bloodthorn. 10% lifesteal plus 2% damage for each 1% lifesteal. Minus 1 vitality for each 1% lifesteal. And we can get an elite. Let's go. Six spaces. Easy game. Yes. Use it. So my lifesteal is only 10%. I need more lifesteal now. I need it. Projectile power. What gives lifesteal? Ooh, but this is also good. Four melee for three space. A cannon. Projectile. Forceful. Projectile explodes on impact. Reroll. What are you? Black wing. Move speed and life steal for three spaces. I would like that. Life steal's worth extra to me. To get that, do I give up on some of my luck? I could. All right. And my crit chance. So, damage, 66%. Vitality, minus 18. Plus 25% experience gain, plus 2 melee power, minus 4%. Yes. That's crazy experience gain. Am I getting rid of all of my luck? I think so. 307. Next floor. All right, let's go. No, I just got hit by that werewolf, but I have lifesteal, so it doesn't matter. Okay, I just got hit by that elite that I didn't even notice was there. Eliminate. Three elites. I'm seeing lots of 69s pop up. It's kind of nice. All right. Only one level up so far, though. Break barrels. Keep breaking barrels. Go get the immunity. Zoom over here. Break a barrel. Break 60 barrels. Two level ups. Wait, that's a level up. I think it would have zoomed to me at the end, but still, three level ups. Give me this gold. Easy game. Magic Prism, plus damage, minus crit. Good stuff. Six spaces. Minus 10% item price. I kind of just want more of this experience item. Maybe it's too late for that, but not really. I want this. Plus three max health for each adjacent sword. I do like the luck. They only cost 28. 22. Will that pay for itself before I sell it? Still looking for lifesteal. That's a lot of melee power. Twelve percent attack speed. Five percent crit chance. Yes. I like this one a lot. Okay. What are you? 
magic power. So this is not going to pay for itself because I'm selling it immediately. Still re-rolling. Put outside for a hundred gold, 5% more enemies. I don't think that's worthwhile. I also don't care. Three melee power. I think we're good. Next floor. Lucky number 13. Decimating these weak little enemies. 91 on a crit. Okay, I need to shoot that eyeball with the laser beam. Not really. I can also just dodge the laser beam. Okay, my game kind of lagged there. Oh, also, I've been playing with recording settings. So hopefully they're good. I need to check that. I think they'll be good. I hope they'll be good. Two level ups. What are you? Ritual doll. Yes, yes, yes. Health reduced to one next floor. That's okay. We'll life steal it back. Just don't get hit. If I could find more of those, that would be good. I don't think these are worth the money. Life steal, though. So my damage, 84% extra damage. How much is this up to? 240 DPS. We're insane. Plus 54% resources. I don't know if I can take that minus move speed right now. Believe me, it's tempting, but I'm starting with 1 HP. We're really looking for lifesteal. That says lifesteal on it. This has a lot of move speed. Huh. All of my stuff is good. I think I just take the life steal. That's a lot of move speed. I don't need it. Getting rid of the attack speed hurts a bit. Reroll. Yes. I wonder if this will go for two floors. Okay, my poor attack speed, but I still have 79% attack speed. Right, my vitality is minus 39. I start with 1 HP anyways. Next floor. My damage should be crazy. Oh, I did not start with 1 HP. Weird. Okay, don't let anything touch me. Because I have 32 vitality. There was an item where every floor you gain vitality. I don't know if it's still in the game. That would be nice. Get like three of those so that I gain a bunch of vitality back. Just over time. Three of them would take too much space though. No, I canceled that barrel spawn because I was standing under it. Yes, level up. Invulnerability. More invulnerability. Easy game. Two level ups. We want a third. Come on. Close to leveling up. Just get the level up. No. Okay. You. Magic power. Right. I want more things to touch this. But I also want them to touch each other. I want all of the things to touch all of the things. Move speed and luck. Okay, we definitely want this. Ooh, 
What are you? Big crit chance. Sounds nice. This one's lifesteal. No, it's not. I'm just wrong. One hundred and one. Health reduced to one. Next floor. What does that mean? Does full damage and peace. I think that's supposed to be pierce everything on crit. Crit chance 49%. It's a base of 35. It's kind of cool. 115% damage. Reroll. This is just better than this. Reroll. Plus 8% enemy amount. Lifesteal. I do like my lifesteal. Hmm. Sell that. Give me this. Reroll again. What are you? Recovery, dodge chance. Tier 4, long sword. Reroll. I'm looking for better throwing daggers. Trident. When hitting enemies, typo with am in enemies, multiple tridents swarm from the ground around the enemy. This sounds crazy. I would like this. I would like to build around that sometime. Running low on gold. Dragon scale. Big armor. Low vitality. I already have... 25 max health. I can't keep taking lifesteal. I can't do it. This one's insanely good, though. Bam. Tier 4, 308 DPS. Reroll. I do like this. My move speed is going to be like nothing. Sell it. Move speed, zero. Damage, 119. DPS, 328. Next floor. We just destroy things. I am slow, but I have a dash. Kill the Minotaur. Kill the werewolves. Kill all of the things. Including the barrels. Kill the roly polies before they get to roll at me. I have 26 vitality. Fifteen seconds. Two level ups. Try and find a barrel with a level up in it. Yeah, the damage on this is crazy. No barrels. Um, resource gain, yes. Enemy amount is kind of tempting. And 20 range to make up for all the range that I've lost. I don't know. Purple. Good stuff. Crit chance attack speed plus one crit chance for each adjacent glove. I do have a few gloves. I do. I could get rid of plus three melee power. I could get rid of this lantern that I just got. Sell it.
put that there. Move this over here, this over here, this down here. You get to go here. Attack speed, 103. Crit chance, 31%. I do not get another lifesteal glove. My max health is way too low. What are you? Plus 10 luck, plus 2 crit chance, plus 2% resource gain. Yes. More barrels. I do like the barrels. Um. I don't know. Do I ever just get rid of one of these throwing daggers? I probably could at this point. Um, um, um. I'm reading the throwing benefit plus 6% dodge chance plus 12% range. The swift. So it would drop from 24 down to 20% attack speed. And I get one less weapon. All of my weapons get that bonus, and I have the extra weapon. I really want this. Do I want it enough to get rid of a glove? I just got my glove synergies. Everything is so, so good. Sell it. I think I just lowered my DPS by a good amount. Cancel. Rotate that. Give me the deck of cards. Thirty-two range plus one elite enemy. One extra elite enemy spawns every level. That's kind of cool. Hmm. I don't think I get to take it. It is cool though. Next floor. Reach floor sixteen. If my vitality was more than like zero more than 27 then maybe i would do that elite thing what are you level up don't get the food i have three of those barrel items i think i could sell the barrel items at some point because we're nearing the end i know i just bought one but that would give me a lot more space to fit things that make me stronger. Okay. Life steal it back up. Get this. Okay, that was just the gold wings at a different angle. I see what that was. It just looked weird before. Three level ups. Four level ups. Okay, so with eight spaces, I want good stuff. Have inventory size of 80. We can do better than this. I have a thousand gold. We can totally do better. I can't take this. My vitality goes too low. That would get me very high lifesteal. I think there was an unlock can't do it. I can't. Genie lamp. Plus vitality. Plus lifesteal. Minus experience. It's coming right at the end. That's a good time for that kind of thing. I mean, not right at the end, but pretty near the end. But you take weird shape spaces. Cool. More gloves. I did just get my <laughs> stuff up. Okay. Crit chance, 34. Attack speed, 99. What are you? Shadow hood. Dodge chance. Move speed. My dodge chance. I do have a positive dodge chance. Huh. Max of 80. 20% experience gain. Give me the elite. 
Okay, to have the elite, I need to consolidate. <laughs> How? Why can I not figure this out? Okay, I need put outside. You come over here. Cool. Use it. Anvil? Yes. Upgrade an item. We can't go higher, right? Okay, good. Bam. 337, 352. Um... Plus two armor. What are you? Masterwork. Spearhead. Plus 12 melee power? Yes, yes, yes. I do want this, but the experience gain is coming pretty late. Okay, plus 12 melee power. So this does 352 DPS. Now it does 444. That's crazy. This is just good. Um, it's totally better than this. Minus move speed. It's okay. I can't afford it. I'm stupid. Armor and recovery? No. Next floor. We'll leave the space open. What are you? You died quick. Okay. And I'm healing. These damage numbers. Okay, there's the elite. The elite died quickly. Got the level up. Break 100 barrels. I do feel very slow. Just zoom over to the barrels. Dodge projectiles. Easy game. I didn't need that food. 37 max HP is concerning. My character just feels like very heavy. Just from having the move speed not be as high as it was before. My move speed is negative four. Four melee power for three space. I definitely take the anvil. The anvil is amazing. Okay, so this time, pay attention to my gold. Resource gain. It's too late. What? Yes. Tier 4 items are insane. Why would I move that? Move this. I still have four spaces. With four spaces, Ice Wand, Pierce, Projectiles, I think I go back up one more weapon. To do that, I kind of want to put it right here. <laughs> okay, what am I doing? You can go right here. You can go up here. Okay, put outside. Get this. Put this inside. We need to organize better. <laughs> this game breaks my brain a little bit. Only a little bit. Okay. 
Floor 18. Let's go. Super long video. Mostly because I'm hanging out in the shops for a long time. Since each wave is only one minute. And I've only done 18 floors. Most of the time has been spent in the shop. But I'm getting to read new items, all the good stuff. Which will all become deprecated when the new version comes out. Don't care. Then I get to see how things change, which will be nice. Just don't get one shot. Getting one shot right now would feel bad. Give me the immunity. Go break the barrels. Level up. I did get hit there. Oops. We get another anvil. Not many spaces. Blessed mace. Adjacent blessed weapons gain bonus 1% damage for each six recovery. Throwing hammer, I remember being good. And it seems even better now. Hmm. I could have taken that lucky die just for these rerolls. Plus 9% damage. We can do better. This one's pretty good. These wings aren't as good as I would... Well, the move speed's nice. I could get out of negative move speed. No. 5% damage for negative 5 vitality. Can't do it. Attack speed for minus armor. I could do. We're looking for better. Like this. Recovery, magic power, minus lifesteal. Go away. Like this. No. Like, that's projectiles pierce. These are not projectiles. I'm pretty positive. Last reroll. Ooh, a compass. Stand still build? We're getting closer to it. I do still have one space. Next floor. Okay, after this, I get to sell my barrel thing, I think. And just look for upgrades. Because barrels in the last level, they'll be useful, but not by as much. It's mostly the free level ups that I want. God, if I could raise my vitality, that would make me feel a lot better going into wave 20, floor 20. Twenty seconds. Kill the casters. So yeah, this weapon seems very strong. Don't think I care about luck at this point, so that's another thing that I could sell. Four spaces. Nine hundred and eighty. I don't think I'm gonna have enough gold to get good stuff. I do like these life steel gloves. I could fit it right there. We're looking for better. Move speed, resource gain, enemy amount. This would be good. It takes three spaces. Melee power. What if it's just a shield? All of these. This one's good. Okay, so to fit that, I'm going to sell you. Q. 
keep re-rolling. What are you? Dragonfly wing. Crit chance minus life steal dodge chance. Hmm. Dual sword. Crit chance. Okay, this one's important. I think I just want another set of throwing daggers. So once again, to fit that, I need to move stuff around. You can go up here. I have one space. To get access to that one space will be very tricky. Will it? Maybe not. Put outside. I guess either way... No, now it's touching three. This one's only touching two. Yes. Okay. 563. This glove... Melee power minus life steal. Crit chance. I do big crits too. I get double crits because of this. Okay, sell this. If I sell this one, sell it. Okay, move this over here. What am I doing? I want that there. This here. This here. Good stuff. Reroll. Okay, this is my final one. So, to get that, I need to sell what? What do my stats look like? 53 max health. That's good. These could go. That gets me some space. And it gets my range back up. Reach 65% crit chance. Wait. Just by taking this off, I didn't see what the other one was. Kind of cool. Okay. What is this? Recovery. So I need to make space. To do that is going to be tricky. Is it? Yes. One second. I'm thinking. Put this outside. Get it back. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I have a one space here, one space here. It's these gloves. The gloves could be arranged better. Where am I trying to fit this one? Right here. To do that, put outside. Give me this three space. Put this back. Is there something else I could be getting? I have to get rid of another two space. So for another two space, would it be this one? I think so. What do these do? Lock, crit chance, resource. Okay, never mind. That's going. Okay, I just need what? What do I just need? Put this outside. Move this up here. Move this right here. I just need these two to be next to each other. Is that doable? Totally. That didn't really help. No, that did help. 
we got there. Took me forever, but I got there. Put outside. Move this right here. We're good. Reroll. Crit chance plus movement speed. Just looking really quick. Are there any of these that are just like a negative for me? Going into the final fight. I'm assuming this is the final fight. Who knows? Next floor. Floor 20. A minute and a half. I'm so slow. There's the boss. Holy, just focus fire it down. Easy game. Defeat the boss in under 10 seconds. My damage is crazy. All of that inventory management, and it didn't matter at all. I'm a mach machine gun of unlimited damage. Don't take the food. Eliminate 2,500 total enemies. Somehow my max health isn't even that bad. 53? Ooh, that's an important resource. I got four of the special resources. Would be funny if I died right now, because I'm not really paying too much attention. As I eat a hit. Let's pay attention for the last couple seconds. Easy game. I can't wait for this update. We got like three days. Yes, deal a total of, was that 500,000 damage? Win a recovery with zero or less. Win a recovery with, er, win a run with zero or less. Win a run, all of the win a runs with only daggers. Okay, so we got the recovery one, the armor one, 500,000 damage, main menu. That was a good run. So now the barbarian is unlocked, the wizard, the duelist, the hunter, all of these. The duelist sounds cool. Blade master, blade weapons. Crit chance, crit damage modifier, plus one crit chance for every weapon in inventory, minus 10%. That sounds cool. We're not actually playing right now. Not moving. Moving is good though. What is this? Adjacent weapons gain plus 50% crit modifier. And we can go to difficulty two, victory bonus, bonus plus three of that currency. Enemies are stronger. New elites appear, new enemies. Zor, the overlord. What? Wait, this sounds like a lot of the stuff that's going to be in the 1.0 update. I just want to come look at this room. So I have 11 keys and 54 of this. That feels like a lot. When consumed, increase inventory, inventory space by three. Elite enemies appear next floor. I want that. That is like a super consumable. This one wants you to move. So yeah, I would definitely get this. Acquire it. One key. This one gives you the vitality per floor. I would also buy that. It costs 10, maybe I would. Oh, but 10 of these. Ice crossbow. When hitting the target, the arrow will be lodged into the enemy and slow them down. After two seconds, it will explode, causing damage and slowing down the affected area. Sounds cool. Throwing glaives are crazy. Plus 5% bounce for each adjacent throwing weapon. Okay, these got nerfed. They used to give plus one bounce. Which was a little bit OP. Thanos' glove. Cause lightning explosion on hit dealing four. 75% of magic damage. Hmm. The fist stuff seems kind of cool. Power Fist. 
creates a cone-shaped explosion on impact. Enemies hit are launched extremely far. Huge knockback. Cleaver. This looks like a Kenshi weapon. 33% chance to perform a downward strike causing area of effect damage. 10% chance or 10% area of effect damage for each adjacent armor plus 10% area of effect increases for each adjacent mighty weapon. Kind of cool. What are these? Oh, I just saw the tongs and I thought that was a thing that I could get. This also looks kind of cool, but it's just a plain old weapon. Cross Tornado. Adjacent projectile weapons have 10% chance to fire three identical projectiles at nearby enemies on hit. Huh. That's kind of cool. That could lead to some crazy builds. It does take a lot of space. Eight space. Hit list. Ring of Thorn. Reach plus or reach 25 projectile power and 25 melee power as the ranger. Adjacent melee weapons gain plus 5% crit chance for every ranged weapon. Adjacent ranged weapons gain plus 5% crit chance for every melee weapon. Unlock condition question mark. Win a run with only tier 4 weapons. Huh. It's kind of cool. Black bone. Don't know the unlock condition. Elixir of last breath. Need to win on difficulty 2. One revival. Huh. So you get 50% HP, but you revive. That would be cool. Except it uses up two spaces. Blade Master with only blades. Adjacent weapons gain the blade tag. Hmm. Arrow shaft. Arcane gauntlet. Three different set bonuses maxed as the weapon master. Calling card. Iron core. Having these one space items is really nice. Vampire heart plus 15% life steal plus 1% damage for each 1% life steal plus 1 vitality for each 1% life steal. Lose 1% health per second does not trigger invulnerability, but does not reduce below 15% max health. Life leech 1000 times. That seems very doable. I think I could have got this in that run if I had done lifesteal earlier and if I was losing health more often. Kind of cool. Acquire that. Okay, I'm going to try not to play more of this game until release. We'll see how that goes for now. That does it for this video. Thanks for watching.